Hi guys, how you doing? Hope you're well. So in uh, this video, we're going to be going over how to use an Arduino to create a PWM signal, a super basic one. I'll run through like five, six different programs. And the last one will be this one whereby I can actually control how the PWM signal is going to look using the serial monitor on the Arduino IDE. So as you can see here, I can, you know, just type in different numbers and I'll change the duty cycle here on my square wave which i just think is amazing and my thought process for doing this is that i imagine that i'm going to be supplying this signal to a mosfet based upon a voltage on my battery for my project and so i'm going to have different charging modes and this is going to be how much voltage and current that i want to supply to my battery from my solar panel which is quite amazing that you can just you know anyways let's get into it so we'll do quick coding on each one of the different programs so for this all you need is the arduino uno and then just an led there and you can see i've got it attached to pin 11 and to ground and so what you need to know when we're dealing with pwm is that the arduino has five pwm outputs you can see here we've got pin 3 5 6 9 10 and 11 are all pwm outputs and you can tell that because of their squiggly line on them and you can see there in brackets it says digital PWM and then the squiggly line. So that's how you know that those are the PWM outputs. And so you just need to connect, connect your pin to any one of those. And then we're going to set in our code. We're going to say that, you know, our output pin or any variable you want is going to be one of these 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, and 11. Okay, so here I've got my oscilloscope connected to the output. So if I now upload this program to my Arduino, now it's not happy with me. Okay, here we go. Cool. So now the output is set to 255 so the duty cycle is 255 which means that it's fully on and so i should get a 5 volt average my oscilloscope is reading 4.4 but yeah it's 5 volts i just think i don't really know how to use an oscilloscope so it should be 5 volts uh, to be honest i could test it with a multimeter all right moment of truth i'm thinking my oscilloscope is actually correct yeah 4.35 volts so i think it's because i'm using my tv's usb output maybe that's not outputting a true five volts and so the arduino is running on less than five who knows but anyways so if it should be five volts but anyways it's the maximum right maximum voltage in this case 4.3 volts so now if i now change this to zero all right and then upload now you see my output on my oscilloscope went from 4.2 dropped straight down to zero so now if i set it to half which is what 127 upload we should see my oscilloscope jump to what 2.1 2.2 volts and now as you can see this is where the magic really happens now so you can see my led is on and what you might have expected was the straight line right to say okay well it was a straight line at five volts straight line at zero but what it's actually doing here as you can see is it's turning on and off that five volt signal on and off on a 50% duty cycle and that's how you can see that now it's got a square wave at 2.2 volts which is just sweet so now what happens if I go down to 64 upload which now should be a 25% boom there you go so you can see it's on for 25% of the time and then off for 75% and so we're getting one volt I was expecting 1.25 but we're getting one volt so if I change it to 51 that's why I was expecting one volt, but I'm guessing we're going to get what 0 0.9, 0 0.8. Yeah, almost 0 0.9. So 880 millivolts. Pretty cool, right? So literally, this is the program. It's super short, super simple, right? I can just, let's just delete these comments. It's three lines of code, really. I mean, what, six? Let, we're given a name to our pin 11. And then we're setting that pin 11 to output and then we're outputting an analog signal to that pin 11 and we're giving it a value so 51 255 etc so let's build on top of this now so there's a lot that we can do with this one thing that i'm going to do is if i just remove this comment here and then i'm going to go and write delay 300 so now what i'm doing is if I turn it on to 255, I'm going to have a delay and then I'm going to turn it off and then I'm going to have another delay. 
for 300. So that 300 there is milliseconds. If you put 1,000, then it will be one second. So now for upload, we should get a 50% duty cycle whereby the output is high and then low. So... There you go, you can see. And I should actually be able to check the duty cycle. Is this my duty cycle? There you go. So I got 50% duty cycle, perfect. Literally, literally 50%, which is nice. So if I wanted, let's say I wanted, um, if I wanted, I'm just gonna be adjusting the values of these two 300 delays. So if I wanted it to be, let's say 300 and then 100, so here now, I it would be on for three quarters of the time and off for one quarter of the time, which gives me a 75% duty cycle uh, and off for 25%. So you're going to see here now. Boom, there you go. 75% duty cycle. And so this is now where it's like, you can really do a lot with this if you think about it. If you just keep going forward, there is really a lot that you could do with this. So let's make it incrementally go up now. So what if I make this all, for example, one, let's go 1000. And then what we'll do is let's start at our low value. Uh, we'll do 64 and then we'll double it again, 128. So this is getting cool now. So 128 and then uh, plus 192 and then 255. Okay, so think about this now. We're talking about being on, this is 25%. If I put a comment, 25%, and then here is going to be 50%, 75%, 100%. And so if I upload this now, we're going to be on for 25%, and then 50%, then 75%, then 100%. And so you can see here, we can really do some cool things with this now. Let's zoom in. All right, so look at this. <laughs> now we have a proper pulsating. Pulsive modulated signal. This stuff is so simple. Like, I love it. I love Arduino stuff. Look at this. So you can see here, we got 25%, 50%, 75%, and then where it's like freezing is where it's going at that 100%, basically. So let me just make this 10 seconds and then, because obviously my oscilloscope is showing a changing voltage, but let's see what it does. So I've made it 10 seconds now. It's 25. 50, 75, and then there you go. So it's the 100%, 10 seconds, and then it'll go back down to 25%. There you go. Okay, and obviously if you know your programming, then you know we can do some for loops. So let's let's remove all of this. If you're not that strong in programming, I wouldn't worry about it. This, this stuff is not too complicated. You can learn it pretty quickly. So int, uh, all right. so I'm just making a for loop here. Less than so I want to do two five five. My right, so getting away. Two five five. I actually can't see my keyboard. My my mic is blocking my keyboard, which is why I'm typing like I'm a boomer. Sorry, boomers. <laughs> All right. Uh... <laughs> uh, I make myself laugh. Okay, so here I've got a for loop in I, uh, and then for I is less than two hundred fifty five increment i so we're just counting from zero up to 255 and so what we're going to do is increment our analog signal from we're going to make it i so whatever value i is then our, our, our signal is going to be that as well so we're going to start off at zero and go up to 255 and so this is cool man so watch this i've made it 10 milliseconds so that it increments quite fast there you go look at that Boom. And so you can see there, starts off at zero and then goes all the way up to 100%. And so you can see my oscilloscope tracking the percentage. I can make it slower, 100 milliseconds. And then we'll be able to watch the duty cycle change more slowly. 2%, look at that. And like, just the what you could do for this is amazing like you can have the arduino sensing a voltage and then it responding to that voltage that if you know input voltage at pin you know or at analog pin one is 
you know, 100 millivolts, then set the duty cycle to 20%. If it's 50 millivolts, set it to X. And so you can, you can think about this. There's a lot that you could do with this. All right, let's do some more. So as you can see here, it's incrementing slowly. And then when it gets to 100%, it then just resets. So we could actually just do, again, the opposite and have it decrement back down. So let's go back to 10 milliseconds. And instead of I++, we're going to do I minus minus. Uh, and then this time we're going to do for I is greater than zero. So uh, this needs to be 255. So for I is equal to so make I equals 255. And then as long as I is greater than zero, keep decrementing it all the way down basically to zero. And yeah, that works. I like to talk through my code. I don't know why. To be honest, I, I, I like to read out loud as well. So there you go. Boom, back down. Look at that. Now we have like, and so if this was, if I mean, you can actually see the LED, right? So you can see it gets dimmer and then goes brighter and then goes all the way back down to dimmer again. Nice pulsating light. And so that, I mean, let me turn off my lights and. All right, get comfortable, lads. So you can see there. It's a nice pulse and I've got two mini. <laughs> and I've turned this off. Okay, there you go. Oh, wait, let me turn off my keyboard as well. I've got so many LEDs in here. All right. Hey. So you can think there's just, there's so much you could do with this, you know. Nice pulse and light just from that nice PWM signal. Okay, so let's make this a bit more complicated now. So what I want to do is since my Arduino is connected to my PC via USB, I can use a serial monitor and actually send it commands and using a, a switch case, then a case switch, then I should be able to just simply send in commands and then so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then get it to change the duty cycle based upon what I'm sending on the serial monitor. Okay, so here's the code for it. If I typed it out with you guys, it'd probably take it take me a while. So I just thought I'd quickly show you here. So I've just added in another variable up here, duty cycle, and this is being used to read in the characters. So serial read, and then so my output pin is still 11. My pin mode is still set to output for the output pin, and then I've got serial dot begin 9600, which is the board rate. Uh, that has to do the serial monitor. Don't worry too much about that. And then I'm just printing PWM control. So if I open up my serial monitor here, it will print PWM control. Wait, let me upload it. There we go. Boom. There you go. So PWM control. Okay. And then so I've got some serial print commands here, which is just like printf in C. Well, I'm just telling it basically to say you send and then the duty cycle. And then I'm printing a new line. And then here's my switch case whereby I'm saying, okay, so the duty cycle, this one here, the variable up here, and then case when this, when this serial read, when this reads in a zero, then I want the output pin, which is my duty cycle. I want it to be zero. Okay. When it reads in a one, then I want it to be 25. When it reads in a, a five, then I want it to be 125. When it reads in a nine, then I want it to be two, 250, which, you know, basically the max 255, but I wanted it to be 250 so that you can see it on your oscilloscope. So if I now go to the serial monitor and then I come down to my keyboard and I press one and then enter, you can see there I get a 10% duty cycle. If I press two, I get 20%, three, 30%, four, 39%, 40%, 5, 50%, 6, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, use this to change and do different things on a motor do it on a on a on a um led for me i'm thinking about you know in terms of automating this to have it so that the the, the signal can change based upon the battery voltage so yeah anyways i don't want to ramble on too long 
if you enjoyed the video leave a like and uh yeah if you have any questions drop them down below i am not the best at arduino programming to be honest with you but this kind of stuff is pretty basic so i should be able to answer any of your questions but don't get too advanced on me please i'm a total noob remember that thanks for watching guys take care Bye bye